Hey, how's it going? So, another vlog. I figured it would be good to change the style a little. On the vlogs, I'm gonna be more relaxed, transparent, more open, not so concerned about slipping up. I'm still gonna respect your time, but I'm gonna be connecting more with you because if you're watching the vlogs, I'm gonna assume that you enjoy my content and you resonate with me with me as a person. So I'm gonna fill you in on the challenges that I'm going through, where I'm headed, what I learned from those challenges. I still wanna keep it to the point and share with you things that I think are gonna be of value to you. So that being said, in this video, I had a challenge. I just submitted my app, it got accepted onto the store, but we're gonna be moving on to Swift 3, iOS 10, Xcode 8. It's right around the corner, just a couple of weeks away from now. So I was unsure as to what that means in terms of my app that's in the store right now that has been built with Swift 2. So I had that challenge. I'm gonna fill you in on where what my next step is now that I've built my app. What's my next step on my learning journey? What do I focus on now? I'm also gonna share with you what's going on in general in my life without divulging my private intimate details, but just to allow you in a little bit and for me to get comfortable sharing other aspects of myself because I believe that being the best developer that you can be means being the best person that you can be, being the strongest version of yourself. So lifestyle plays a part in that. Keeping yourself healthy is a part of that. Having a healthy back, a healthy spine, feeling energized and healthy so that when you sit down at your desk, you have a clear mind and solutions to problems come to you quicker. So I'm gonna be talking about that. So what challenge did I have this week? Well, I, I thought, I was under the impression that once we go to Swift 3 and people start updating their phones to iOS 10, that it would break my app that has been built with Swift 2. And I now know that that's no longer the case. And I was able to find out that because I'm a member over at teamtreehouse.com and they have a great forum on there. When you submit a question on their forum, you can expect an answer within a day, usually. I don't wanna lead you to believe that you can ask anything and you're always gonna get a response, but I usually get a response within a day. And somebody got back to me, Michael, he must be a legend over at Team Treehouse. He's got 36,000 points. Team Treehouse use gamification to good effect, but that's another story. So anyway, Michael said, your app will still work even for people on iOS 10. You can update to Swift 3 whenever you like, but Apple won't accept submissions of Swift 3 apps until iOS 10 is released and they'll likely stop accepting submissions of Swift 2 apps soon after that. But if your app is already on the App Store, that version will continue to work forever. So that's no longer a worry. And you see, the thing is, I was reluctant to update to Swift 3 because there isn't really any Swift 3 tutorials out there. And when we went from Swift 1 to 2, it broke the tutorials and it just made it that little bit more frustrating. So I figured I'd stay with Swift 2 for at least the next two months whilst I'm working through the Team Treehouse app tutorials. But now though, because another thing Michael said is that Xcode 8 will fix the Swift 2 code. It will tell you what's wrong and you just double click and it updates the code for you. But I think I'm still going to stick with Swift 2 at least for the next two months though. So 
what is my next step as far as my learning journey goes and working through this big nerd ranch guide now i've got an opportunity to consolidate my swift knowledge so i'm working through this book i've got the hard physical copy and i've got the pdf version if you're going to be buying programming books get the pdf version as well it's a little bit awkward when you're looking at the book looking at the screen trying to find the right page and but it helps to have the book because i've been taking this out into the garden we've had some nice weather it's been nice to be able to sit outside and get away from the screen it's no good if you're looking at a screen 24 7 you want to give your eyes a break so the book comes in handy so that's where i'm headed going through the book teamtreehouse.com have tech degrees they've just released this to the public now and on these tech degrees they have i think it's seven it might even be 12 industry level projects from which to work through there's an exam at the end it's peer-to-peer -peer programming so somebody's looking at your code and telling you how you can improve it there's different levels of, of the tech degree. I'm most probably going to come in at the $199 per month membership. That's good enough for me right now. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, there is a Swift 3 Xcode 8 course out there. And it's Mark Price's Udemy course. He, his, he's got a team behind him now and it looks like they've got an awesome vibe going on so definitely if you're on udemy you're looking for a swift 3 course mark price is your man he'll look after you so that's pretty much it in terms of that i'm focusing right now on keeping myself healthy i'm going to the gym later and that gives me a break from being in the office you've got to get out there it's going to help you grow it's going to help you to network and grow your career. You can't stay in your room with your toys. You've got to get out there and connect. So that's what I'm going to do later. I'll leave it there. I'm going to do my best to keep these vlogs under 10 minutes. So keep the momentum going. Keep yourself healthy. And I'll catch you later. Peace.